Hi, I'm Pila Lubisi, and with me I have Brian Armstrong, who was one of our judges at the BCX Digital Innovation Awards. Brian, we've just wrapped up our inaugural award ceremony, and uh, what I just want to find out from you is, take me through your decision-making process. What exactly were you looking for from our contestants? Pila, I think, I think what we were looking for was, in a sense, to see the innovation process in action. Mm. So that has to clearly start with a need. So right. we were looking is there a real need that is being addressed here? Is there something that hasn't yet been solved mm. that needs to be solved? Mm. The second thing, of course, being an innovation competition is, was there creativity? Is there innovation right. in the way people went about addressing that need? Right. The third thing is they always say that innovation is 10% inspiration yeah. and 90% perspiration. Yeah. So we were looking for execution. Okay. Having had the identified the need, Having had the inspiration about mm. how to address it and the creativity, mm. how did they go about executing sure. it and was it a success for the sure. execution? Sure. And then of course finally a really important thing is are we starting to see that it's getting traction in the market? Are we starting to see results? So we looked for all four of those. For me personally, I was probably looking for the innovative spark. Yes. Because it had, you have to have that, that innovative spark. That X factor. Yeah. yeah. I mean, of course, there's got to be addressing a real need sure. uh, and it's got to be superbly executed and we want to see results. Sure. But for me, what I was looking for was that X factor, as you put it. Fantastic. And I mean, a lot of emphasis and, and focus, and rightfully so, is going to be put on the finalists that we had this evening. Yeah. But just tell me, are you happy with the overall quality, perhaps, that we might have seen from all of the entrants um, that we had from the beginning of the competition, yeah. all up to, of course, this evening? Well, let me firstly say the, the finalists in both the corporate sector and the SME sector, I think, were very, very worthy finalists, sure. and the top three winners were extremely wor worthy winners. Mm. And I think we can all learn from them, and we can admire them, and we need to encourage them and all the best for them going forward. Absolutely. Absolutely. In the SME category, I was delighted with what we saw. I was really, I thought the quality of what we got, and some of it was in, let's call it old traditional industries, yes. like maintenance and spares and so yes. on. Other of it was in the so-called you know, sexy digital industries yeah. and cyber security and yeah. so on. But we got really great entrance, and the winners were particularly good. In the corporate sector, I mm. think Old Mutual as a winner of the all three are totally worthy winners. Yeah. But I was a bit disappointed that we didn't have a broader base that other corporates, um, I'm sure there's fantastic innovation happening mm. out there in South Africa in the corporate sector. Mm. And we need to showcase that. Because it's always said that South Africa's got such good innovative capacity, but a lot of it is trapped inside our big corporates. Well, I don't know that that's necessarily true. Mm. Let's see what they're actually sure. doing. I wish the, the corporates would really uh, get into this um, competition because I'm sure there's great stuff happening there. I would love to have seen more of it. I'm here with the winner for our corporate award for the BCX Digital Innovation Awards, Kushil Amrit Lal. Kushil, tell us, how do you feel after being recognized at such a prestigious event like this? Well, it's a little bit overwhelming. Um, I'm super proud of the team that we have, the management layers that we have. Uh, they've been essentially enabled us being recognized and, right. and affirming the, the sort of project and the program that we've been so sort of focused on for the past 18 months. Fantastic. Yeah. And I mean, just for those who don't know, uh, run us through what was the crux of your innovation and your idea that you pitched to the judges? Yeah, sure. I mean, so robotic process automation or software robotics is, it's not an uncommon uh, technology offering. Mm -hmm. But its application in the insurance sector and in the insurance industry, and especially given that we're a 176-year-old legacy estate yeah. with archaic uh, IT processes right. and estates, uh, has meant that it's been a real challenging implementation of the software itself uh, to the extent where we've been recognized globally from Blue Prism themselves yes. as one of the best um, operating model implementations there has been. But essentially what we do uh, as the cognitive automation capability at All Mutual is um, we essentially automate business processes um, with the aim of cost leadership, with the aim of improving customer experience or mitigating risk. Uh, we've been quite successful over the past, yeah. say, 14 to 18 months 
uh, to the point where we have over 120 bots in production yeah. uh, servicing it's actual customer yeah. requests. Uh, there's been s pretty s serious upticks in the customer experience. Uh, as well as a lot of the cost uh, efficiency drives that we've managed to achieve. And I mean, run us through what's next from here. And I mean, you've already done so well to implement a change in Old Mutual uh, in the way you guys do business, but where to from here after these awards? Well, these awards kind of uh, cap uh, epitomize what we were about. I mean, digital innovation and the entire program is around digitizing the customer experience, really innovating and putting the customer first, um, understanding customer needs, yeah. personalizing services, uh, predicting services. Uh, so, the, so what's next for us is essentially moving more into the cognitive automation space. So out of the binary robotic process automation and more into the intelligent decision intelligence right, rather right, right. Um, that will inform the execution intelligence that we've been so successful at doing um, and then it's just about digitizing customer experiences really understanding uh, customer cohorts uh, understanding uh, customer value propositions right. understanding employee value propositions and incorporating all of this technology into providing a real sort of holistic solution for both the employee, the customer, and the shareholder. Right. So, yeah, that's kind of what's next for us. The, the more uh, sort of intelligent character recognition, the more natural language understanding, the more right. cognitive automation capabilities. That's what's next for us. Well said. Well, there you have it from Kushil, uh, the winner of this year's award and a representative of Old Mutual. And from our side at BCX, we'd really like to encourage more corporate entries and to, for us to really hear how you are reinventing the customer experience and how you are using the fourth industrial revolutions and current technologies to better your business and disrupt the industry. See you next year.